Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'll do unboxing, assembly, and we'll go for the speed test, some other tests, and maybe heel test on this new Nocta F4 model. So let's open up and see how it's fucked. All right, so it looks like inside everything really neat and clean. Everything looks like safe. And that's how a bike will look once you unbox it. Wow, actually it looks like the bike fully assembled almost. So most likely I just need to attach the handlebar. All right, so let's see what's inside the box. So it's actually the one I have, it's a kind of basket, really large. Wow, so it's like a cargo. Then it comes with a manual, user manual over here. And in this package you will find some tools. Uh, so all the tools, even this uh, fuse inside as well. Nocta bikes always send you extra fuse for the battery just in case, which is great. Also some spacers, probably for the, uh, the display and the large pedals. And not only that, I have a PEX right over here. So PEX with some hardware to install it. So the bike came full assembled, so I would uh, actually remove only the bracket over here to attach the handlebar. So it should be pretty simple, so you would need to remove these four uh, bolts. Okay. Then you would remove this bracket and four bolts and you would just uh, turn around like this, put the final bar in and reattach all these four bolts. I'm not sure why they put so much grease, never saw like grease between, but I guess uh, I'm not sure why they did it. I'll just leave it like this right now, maybe I'll remove the grease. We don't really need to grease over there. And you would bring the handlebar up to the position you want, and then you would tighten up. So the next step, I would attach this um, display. Uh, I would use this um, two spacer, which came separately. So you would insert over here and um, you would need to insert both of them. This way you will, and then put it on handlebar. So like this. And then you can flip it over this way. And you would use the same, like they include uh, two bolts over here, which required two and a half Allen key to attach these two bolts or screw from both sides. almost assembled so let's remove from the box completely you don't need this piece anymore looks like you would need to realign make sure all the bolts are tightened before you start to ride and remove this part and over here almost missed uh, more actually uh, there is also f4 manual over here and the charger let's see how large the charger actually and the charger looks nice it's, it's uh i i think it's let's see so it's a maximum output three amp charger so it's a good charger large so because the battery actually also large 20 amp battery and over here they do include some reflector light let's see Yep, uh, this is a reflector light, uh, you would install it on this rack, I guess. And now I'm going to install the pedals, make sure you installed right way, so on, on this side you'll see a letter L and R, so this one will go to the right side, which is this one, and you would attach it, and you would use this uh, wrench to tighten up uh, then uh, my chain fall during the shipment but it's not problem you would just put it back 
very simple like this okay and then you would reattach the pedals on another side as well you can attach this uh, reflector light with two screws it came with you would need a screwdriver in order to do this so first you would decide which these different holes and then you would use Phillips screwdriver to tighten them up it also comes with the packs and with a lot of hardware which you don't really need you just uh, screw in this uh, packs to this bolt you can use Phillips screwdriver to tighten them up just insert it and tighten and it's already attached and you do the same thing on another side and all this hardware which came with a uh, uh, packs actually it's for the this rear kind of rack which you would attach uh, this way and these four bolts you would attach and it would be probably for people who wants to use like for a dash or whatever like carry the cargo with a bag it's pretty large actually and you can probably no you can only attach this way but i'm gonna use this for running for as a two seaters so there's uh, also packs so it should be great for two seater as well you just need a soft seat over here that's it and here's how the nocta f4 will look once you assemble actually it's cable almost assembled so you just need to attach the handlebar and the display so i want to show you how i will look on this bicycle uh, basically the the seat located from the ground only 31 inches so it's not a large bicycle so it can fit a shorter person but i'm 5'11 and it's actually a pretty good size they do recommend for somebody who is 410 to 59 but we're gonna check it out i'm gonna go for a ride and see how actual bicycle perform for my height as well how easy to pedal it but you can see the position is pretty good and you can move the handlebar even further so even taller person can fit i'm not sure about the pedaling how comfortable it will be but the battery is pretty large so you don't really have to pedal much yet and uh, Nocta F4 come with a basket, the yellow color. The green color does not have it. And it also not only a basket like this, it come with for cargo. So if you're planning to do like dash or some delivery, very useful. And it's all, almost like already set for the job you need to do. And with the larger battery as well. So if you're not planning to do delivery, it's also come with the packs. So the second person can sit on the rear rack. And this bike can handle 400 pounds and actually we're gonna test it out i think it would be great to have an option to have a longer seat because as you can see the frame very long and it's all one frame so longer seat would create kind of better for two seat rider so it will give you kind of better opportunity for two people to sit but at the same time you can buy extra seat which i already have so you may want to get this kind of uh, seat which i got from another bike sent to me before it came with another bike as well but you can buy it on amazon or anywhere probably on uh, aliexpress i'm gonna try to find one and put in the description as well but this one will be easier to attach and uh would be a real cool actually for two people and we're gonna check it out actually how comfortable and the rear suspension is not just basic spring it also have air so it's basically air suspension like in motorcycles and you can put air right over here there's a cup to remove it and actually i already put about 100 psi in it but i don't have a chart so maybe i'll get a chart if the nocta will send me how much uh, you can put it in if they do i may make another video for that front fork suspension and it uh, looks like really nice and it's uh, about 60 millimeter travel and it uh, looks like hydraulic fork with uh, the crown one dual crown fork with a uh, compression adjustment over here and also preload adjustment so you have full control on the fork on the front and the rear so it should give you uh, based on your weight you can adjust it how much um, softer you want to have the right 
or firmer, so it's full adjustable. Also, I like this bike not only because of the color and looking cool, but also it's a step through. It should fit shorter person easier to get on. And if you do have a cargo, you need a step through bike because you cannot flip over the feet if the cargo is too high, you can fall easily. So there's enough space to step through. Also, it comes with the bottle holders and I already have the bottle over here. Uh, I'm gonna hold it and it stays there pretty well actually. I'm not sure if you're going off-road, it will stay there, but so far it works really good. And uh, the handlebar, it's pretty wide, it's like almost 29 inches wide, which is really good handling. It comes with very nice uh, grips, which is rubber and adjustable, so it will not move around. And you can also insert the side mirror if you want to, which is very good and useful sometimes for people who are riding on the street. And it comes with a headlight, easy to turn on and turn it off. So let me show you headlight as well. So it's actually a pretty bright headlight uh, at daytime. It's not as bright, of course, but at night time it does. And at the rear you only will get reflector light, which is kind of cone. And um, display, uh, it came like scratch up and I was kind of disappointed, but then I find out it's actually film. So don't be really disappointed like I was. You can remove this film and the display will be shiny, brand new, no scratches at all. So they do have a really good protection and this is a film was scratched up and that's what it was. And the, actually the display is larger than usual. It's uh, almost double size what you'll get on regular bicycles. Uh, easy to change uh, pedal assist levels on the left side, plus and minus. Also it comes with horn. Uh, which is very useful and thumb throttle Let's see if it works on zero. No, it's not working. So you can actually change the settings as well Easy to go to settings press plus you press plus and minus at the same time and we'll go to the settings to change uh, How bright you want display a uh, mileage to kilometers uh, Wheel diameters how you want the throttle to work how pedal assist how many pedal assist level from three zero to three or zero to five and so many changes you can do in the settings as well and it does come with shimano six gear shifter also come with shimano uh, freewheel and tourney um, derailleur and silver chain and about the brakes it's 160 millimeter brakes mechanical and it's by zoom uh, which is uh, not the best for cargo bike would be because the cargo bike need better brakes but again we're gonna check it out how the braking I'm not sure how fast the bike will go I already unlocked the speed to go up to the unlimited and again uh, we're gonna go and check it out later to see how fast the bike is and the rear one the same 160 millimeter with a zoom and um, it comes with a dual fenders which is good it will protect you during the rain if you're riding in uh, wet conditions as well nacta f4 uh, comes with a uh, 20 by 3 inches tires which uh, is uh, all terrain as you can see it has a very nice uh, should be traction so you can ride them off-road on the grass or on pavement the battery it's easy to remove so you'll get the key just insert it and turn it and put up on you and it will be removed very easy same way you just drop it okay turn the key down and it stays there very good so it does have a key so you can charge the battery on the bike or remove it, the charging port from another side so i charge on the bike usually the battery uh, have options to check the power on it and it uh, will show you three bars and the first bar is not working for some reason on my bike so probably you will only see, see the three bars so once they start to drop so it means the battery discharge but you can also see the same information on display uh, the side switch on and off actually does not really work i notice it will not turn off the battery completely and but when you charge the battery uh, I notice it does make difference, so the battery will not be charged if it's on off position, I believe. 
So that's kind of uh, strange to me, but the battery is large. It's a uh, uh, 48 volt by 20 amp, which is 960 hours, which uh, should provide you a lot of distance to write on. And it does come with a uh, cadence sensors. It's located right over here. So when you pedal front, it will activate the motor and give you assist. But again, if you don't want to use the pedals, you can use a thumb throttle, which uh, should also uh, be fun to ride, which I like the most sometimes on this type of bicycles. And to use the bike is pretty simple. You just press button over here. It will turn on uh, the bike. You'll see like blinking and different information on the uh, display. I'm on the straight sunlight right now, so it might be hard to see for you, but it's pretty clear and uh, then the switching pedal assist level plus and minus so you're going plus or minus will increase the pedal assist level minus will decrease headlight uh, horn and then on the side you will see also one button actually it's for headlight which uh, when you press on it it will actually show you headlight and dim the display but at the same time it will do any, nothing to the headlight so basically for headlight you would need to use this button and also this top button it's for uh, to use when you are using the programming so when you go to programming this is a button to use to going through the programming uh, changes and if you want to see that uh, in the next video please comment below i can uh, make a video how to use completely this bike as well and it's very good actually set up the handlebar is wide it's like a bmx style which should be great handling and now we're gonna go for a ride all right so let's go for the speed test to see how the bicycle should perform i didn't do any derailleur adjustment no brakes adjustment nothing just install the handlebar make sure it's uh, all the bolts are good on the bike charge the battery put uh, the 25 psi in front and rear you can go up to 35 if you want to but i might also take it uphill if i decide to if i feel like there's enough torque in it i might take uphill test as well but as right now we're gonna do a throttle only test and see how the bike will go so right from here i'll just stop and we'll go from zero and i already adjust everything up to the top uh, speed supposed to go and let's go and see how fast i can go oh i need to go to the level five in order to go to top speed and so it's 18 on G display but i'll go with gps gps already 20 21 22 on display show me 24 23 on 23 on uh, gps I did change, uh, uh, I, I changed the uh, diameter of the wheels to 23 inches, it was 20 before, but I might do two times test later on as well to see if it will make fast or not with 20 inches as it came in a box. And now we're gonna go with a pedal assist to see how fast it can go on gear number six. And we'll Assist number five, so 23, 24 on GPS. I'll go with GPS. So the top speed, and then you can get like ghost pedaling, probably 24 miles an hour. Uh, I don't think you can pedal faster than 24. You, you have to really spin it. And let's go for riding and see actually how the brakes works it does uh, very comfortable have seats looks like um, it, it's kind of short so for pedaling for me a little bit my feet going up i mean i can comfortably pedal it no problem but looks like seat too close to the uh, handlebar and also 
I sit right on the back of the seat almost and uh, the position uh, would be better if the seat was longer and maybe I'll find the longest seat on for this bike because that would be great actually to have long seat for two riders and now I'm gonna test it to see how the bike actually rides without power at all and later on we'll check the brakes as well so I'm on the gear number four just pedaling with no power pedal assist level zero right now so there's no pedal assist at all and it's a little bit harder so I'm going with uh, gear number three so since I'm taller as recommended 511 I'm going about eight miles an hour nine so nine miles an hour it's okay to pedal it like a cruiser bike I would not say it's very easy and I need to adjust derailleur because I can hear the derailleur still trying to jump over some gear I'm on the gear number two now and uh, you can still pedal it but even with three inches it's not really good pedaling for a person like me 511 so let's turn on the bike all right okay so let's turn on the power assist to level two or to level one actually and go to gear number four and now it's a different now you can pedal easily and the position is actually not bad it's a pretty good straight up position on this bike even for my height it's uh, with pedal assist it's no problem to pedal it and just be careful on the turns because the pedals located kind of too close to the ground and um, we're gonna do some brake test right now so i switch to pedal assist level five and get about 20 plus miles an hour and then we'll brake and see actually already 20 21 22 and i'll break by the blue pin 23 and then i'll break here it's not bad the brakes are very quiet and they break as any mostly as any mechanical brakes they don't lock the wheel as i prefer like with hydraulic brakes but they break again i would put um, hydraulic brakes on this type of bicycle if you're planning to ride two people or as a cargo heavy so you need to have very good brakes these brakes are not bad for mechanicals but they're not perfect for heavy duty job uh, the throttle works based on the pedal assist level so if you're riding on pedal assist level one it will only go up to the pedal assist level one which is like um, around under 10 miles an hour and level two probably about 12 miles an hour level three kind of 13 miles an hour so basically some people like it but i think all very it's a complete preference uh, i like when it's unlimited you can use the throttle up to the top speed without changing pedal assist level the way you can pedal it at uh, level one for example but if you need a uh, faster to go accidentally like the the ducks run after you you can always speed up without switching the pedal assist level and i decided to go for hill test to see how it will perform i don't expect anything a good result out of it because it's only like 60 new meter torque but while riding to the hill i can test the spring uh, uh, i can test the front fork and rear suspension which is air as not only spring but it also come with air and i just a little bit i put more air in it um it was about 100 but most likely about 80 because uh, i use electric pump and again uh, that's the only way for me to give you my experience uh to ride over here because there's so many bumps 
and to feel this, how the rear suspension. And I can say that the bike actually rides pretty impressive, very smooth, and the like wide handlebar make it very stable on the road. Uh, you can pedal it. I, I find no problem to pedal this bike, even that uh, I'm taller than recommended. 511 still can pedal no problem again the top speed only 24 mile with pedaling but i would assume you would uh, probably pedal maximum about 23 miles an hour on flat surface and comfortably will be about 21 22 and uh, I like the horn, which is like a car. Always uh, ride carefully on the street or on the sidewalk. I prefer sidewalk because it's safer for me. There's no people much. And surprisingly, it's doing really good. Actually, I expect to have a smooth ride on this bike. 22 miles an hour, we're doing very good. Over here will be some jump. Wow, actually it's uh, really good, uh, it was very soft, uh, you're not supposed to jump on this bike, it's not like um, designed for that, but again, really smooth, the suspension works really good, the front and the rear. Alright, so I'm close to the hill, and I'm gonna test it out with throttle only to see if it can make it uphill. It's supposed to be, because it's a 20 inch wheels, they have more grabbing torque up to the hill. They usually perform better versus to larger wheels. But we'll see, it's only 60 Nm torque. Even 750 motor still sounds like very underpowered in Nm torque. And let's see if it can handle it. So I'm gonna stop on the stop sign. And from complete stop, I'll start to ride with throttle only. And I'll go with a, a GPS speed, it's 13 miles an hour, 14, 13, 14. And I'll try to stay on the bike until the bike will stop at least to 4 miles an hour. And now it's about 5 miles an hour. Still going. But I don't think it will go uphill, only three. Uh, only three miles an hour. And I'll, I'll try to balance it. I'll give a chance, it's now two miles an hour. I'll try. No, I think that's it. It did not even meet half hill, which just Prove another proof that this bike doesn't have much torque. It's like under 60 Nm torque. So it's not like hill climber. So if you live in hill area and trying to use throttle only, this is not right bike probably for you. But you can pedal. Let me try to pedal it. And I'll switch a little bit. Uh, you can pedal uphill. I'm gonna try to pedal it. Yeah, you can pedal uphill. Not as fast, and um, I think uh, uh, I think uh, Nacto Oaks 500 motor just died right around the corner here. So I know the Nacto bikes are more in budget category, so they are not as powerful, and but they're fun to ride. Uh, I can still pedal it, but not as fast, like five miles an hour from complete stop. You can still make up to the hill and I'm on gear number two. And I can basically pedal any bike. But if you try to use strut only uphill, this is not the one you want to pick. And I made it. So with pedaling you can go uphill but not with throttle. This is why I didn't really have high expectancy on this bike from the beginning. It's a kind of a mini, mini e-moped style, cargo style bike, which should be cool, cool bike, but again, 
it's all um, depend what you're looking for let's turn on the you cannot really go uphill much even over here the small hill maybe it will go but yeah okay you can climb with strata only but not steep hill as i tried before the motor start to make some actually the motor okay um, the motor on this very quiet uh, pretty good motor actually not loud at all display only show me miles pedal assist on the right side average speed on the left side or odometer reading and um, uh, let's see what else and maximum speed 34.4 and uh, trip that's it all right so now both of us on this bike so we're testing to see how good how are you feeling there is it soft okay so two people in a lot of space better than a regular bike i guess we tried before and we'll do some speed test i guess maximum speed on throttle only with two of us 80 miles an hour and 19 20 and we wait about 350 plus pounds maybe even more 21 so 21 very solid on this place 23 but it is a good uh, suspension you can increase uh, you can increase uh, more air in it so it will hold it even better but so far it's soft right okay you can see uh, jumping a little bit so but you can also pedal it so that's why it's a two-seater good two-seater or cargo bike so anybody who wants to ride with someone too you can give your friend a lift or with your loved one so a nice bike for two people so we can use probably more often to go for off-road <laughs> It's, uh, let's see how braking okay it's still brake uh, not bad I guess and the brake are not squeaky and again thank you guys for watching I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next video